has is still yet to agree. And they have so far given Treasury a proposal of 9 billion shillings to be allocated to 12 counties that stand to lose. On the other hand, Treasury has remained mum on that proposal. Instead, it is saying that it will, it will write actually a letter to the Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, so as to recall the House, so as to approve a supplementary budget. This will help the counties to get the money that they need so as to run their daily duties, including funding of different projects. So now, let's bring in Michael Agwanda, a political analyst, just to talk to us about this, joining us virtually. Thank you so much, Mr. Agwanda, for talking to us here on KTN News Center. So what is the way forward? Because as uh, everyone is looking at uh, the 47 uh, senators and the 12-member 12, uh, commit, uh, 12 committee that has been set up, nothing is coming forth. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, good morning, Brenda and our viewers. Um, it is sad that uh, the Senate are not able to agree on the way forward for uh, devolution, I mean, uh, re um, revenues that are supposed to go to the county. Unfortunately, this is not because they are unable to agree. This is because there are a lot of outside influence into the Senate. The Speaker has been called upon to resign by these very senators. Uh, that, that has been um, sort of one-sided. Um, a number of senators have been accused that they've been induced with money, and that is corruption. And we are also seeing a lot of underhand dealing that is coming in, of course, the influence of the government, uh, of course, the influence of the position, and of course, the influence of the deputy president as well. And so you can see that the senators are not debating this division of revenue bill um, with an open hand, but with a lot of underhand dealing and high-heartedness. In other words, they are already predetermined on what is needed to come out from the Senate, unfortunately. Because what is happening here is a situation where the government has brought up a bill and they're saying, you've got to pass it. And anybody who think otherwise has no room unto it. And to, to that extent, we are seeing a situation where there's a stalemate. In other words, what I am seeing here is a situation where the government says, if you don't pass this thing, we are not going to resolve this matter. So we will wait, the counties will suffer, the county will wait until you pass this bill the way we want it. That is not how debates are done. That is not how National Assembly is supposed to be. That is not how Senate is supposed, is supposed to be. This is supposed to be a debate where the winner takes it, the majority so, takes Wanda. it. Unfortunately, it's not happening that way. So, Mr. Gwanda, when you say that it's more about politics at play, then why hasn't the president, uh, that is President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga, come out so clear on this? Because people, there are some political pundits who are arguing that at least the deputy president, you can know his stand because his troops, you know, the likes of Honra Bomulkomend and Susan Kihika, have taken a stand that we have to go an equal sharing formula. Previously, when the executive had any issue in parliament, they will present it as a bill and it will pass without any squabbles. It will pass without any hesitation. But more recently, when the Jubilee Party ruffled feathers with the teams that are coming from the de deputy president uh, corner, uh, they realize that the numbers are not there. And those numbers have so far become very independent in their thinking and or more or less bordering, opposing what the government want. And for that reason, they're finding it very difficult if they join hands with the other genuine or opposition leaders um, to, to pass a bill like this. Otherwise, it will have been long past. And so you find senators that are aligned to deputy president and other senators that really, really think that they were sent to the Senate to represent their counties and will not allow any shilling to drop by the ocean. And for that reason, they're standing there grounds and that is what is happening here and you will not hear from the president speaking directly because it will look like of course about subverting his powers if it is passed against his will and more so if he declares it openly and for that reason they're playing um you know like uh, wait and see wait and see we're not really involved in this we want to see the independence of the senate of course 
that independence of the Senate is what is making this stalemate because they have given their chip, they've given their instruction on how they want this to be done, but it's not being done the way they want it because of the uh, Kutanga Tanga um, senators as well as genuine uh, uh, representation of some senators that, that, that are in the Senate. They are saying we cannot allow a single cent to All right. be taken away from our counties. All right, so let's talk about that supplementary budget that uh, Ukuri Atani wants to be used to pass, you know, to release money to, to the counties. And this supplementary budget is through that uh, proposal that Ukuri Atani says he'll be giving to the Speaker, Justin Muturi, to recall Parliament to pass, you know, um, uh, this uh, money since there is still a standoff at the Senate. I really don't think we need a supplementary budget now. What we need now is to dispense the money that was spent, what were dispensed to the counties in 2018-2019. In the law allows that. The question is, why hasn't that money been sent yet, even though the Division of Revenue Bill has not been passed in the Senate? The law allows the previous budget, I mean, allocations to continue flowing to the county. The only reason why those monies will not flow into the county is one, is that the government might not have the money and they're just using a long process of this supplementary budget to delay the money further. I don't think so, there's any reason why the money should be so delayed. So Mr. Gwanda, allow me to cut you short. This. Allow me to cut you short. So you're saying that Treasury is not yet ready to go through the way of um, the 50%? I really think so, because otherwise this money should have really gone to the counties by now. The counties are suffering. You're seeing the doctors striking every single day. In Nairobi, we have doctors striking. We've had doctors striking in Nakuru. We've had doctors strike in Kisumu, in, 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 um, in Homa Bay, and many other places where the doctors are striking. Why will these people strike if their salaries are being sent and, uh, and you know, operation can go on without just the development part of it? All right. It's so, because the government really doesn't seem to have the money to send there. So they're using the long um, excuse of uh, a supplementary budget. They're lo using the long excuse of the Senate not passing the bill. These right. are just excuses. The 50% should have been sent by now, and the counties will not have any issues. Then if, if, you're, if you're also opposing this uh, supplementary budget, then can we say that... Um, um, Ukuri Atani should look at the proposal by the Senate committee, the 12th member committee, because they're proposing that Treasury gets 9 billion shillings from the exchequer, so as to give this money to 12 counties, that are 19 counties that will lose money to the 28 counties. Only 9 billion. This country loses over 600 billion every year through corruption. 9 billion is a drop in the ocean. If they will just seal one corruption here and there, they will not have any issues getting nine billion only. And so that is not even what a Kuru attorney need to look into. By the way, the Senate has you know, the backing of the Constitution. And if they pass that Treasury needs to look for that nine billion, it will have to look for that nine billion. And therefore, if you put the Treasury also to, 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 to look into um, the, 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 the uh, 12 member committee and what they're doing with these proposals, about 11 proposals that they're having to look into it again, that is where we'll have again outside influence into the right. decision of the Senate, which is not supposed. The Senate needs to be really independent on their decision and on their judgment based on what is available before them in terms of the proposals. All right, Mr. Gwanda, allow me to say thank you so much for talking to us here on KTN News Centre, talking about that controversial a revenue sharing formula, the third revenue sharing formula that has caused a lot of political division and uproar on the floor of the House, specifically the Senate. So let's wait and see, you know, that proposal by Okuri Atani to have the members of the National Assembly recalled so as to pass that supplementary budget. Now, away from that, and two people perished on the spot and 16 others were